Hey guys, welcome back. Now that Diwali is over, I want to have a nice chicken curry. And this is a curry that I've been wanting to share for some time. The reason I couldn't was that I couldn't find any fresh fenugreek. So guess what? Yesterday I was in the Asian shop and I found a few bunches of fresh fenugreek, which is so exciting and I've shared a lovely fenugreek paratha with you which is my absolute favorite and um, it just cooks so well with the chicken the flavor it adds to it um, so let's get cooking and before I start cooking let me tell you the name of the dish we are making and it is methi chicken curry and guys do not forget to subscribe uh, yeah do that going to thinly slice three onions. It's hot pan and in goes three tablespoon of rapeseed oil. Next goes in a teaspoon of fennel seeds or sof and also a teaspoon of cumin seeds or jeera. And they will sizzle up straight away because the oil is, ni oil is nice and hot. And that's when I'm gonna add all the onions. And I'm going to cook this for 8 to 10 minutes till they turn nice and golden. So I've got a bunch here and what I'm going to do is, um, is just going to take the leaves because the, the stems are not really that great. So um, I know it's a little bit labor intensive work but it's totally worth it so you could just sit in front of the tv or something and then or ask your kids to help you just get the leaves off and that's what we want and i'm using one bunch because um, fenugreek sells in bunches so i'm just using one bunch for this recipe for the next step i'm gonna get a little bit of ginger so that much amount of ginger and three to four garlic cloves and i've got smaller tomatoes today so i'm using five uh, but if you've got larger ones then three should be enough i'm just going to add these tomatoes just roughly chopped into the mixer and i'm just going to blitz this up first the onions are looking beautiful. The smell of fennel in the onions is fantastic. In goes a tomato ginger garlic puree. Just a good mix. And I'm just gonna cook this uh, for five minutes. I'm gonna let this cook look at this light shining on it looks beautiful in the meantime i'm going to prepare um, the chicken so i have got here six lovely pieces of chicken thighs on the bone no skin i like to get rid of the extra little bits on the side but that's absolutely fine if you don't want to um, and if you don't want to use uh, big chicken pieces, you can use chicken thighs boneless and cut them into smaller pieces. The cooking time will reduce drastically if you do that. Just the addition of fennel with the onions just changes the whole um, kind of combination and flavor. So I'm going to add to the tomatoes, I'm just going to add a teaspoon of um, turmeric powder, a teaspoon of chili powder. The mine uh, new chili powder is really strong, so I'm not using too much. I'm going to add two tablespoon, two teaspoon of coriander powder. And most importantly, a teaspoon of salt. Just a mix. So our chicken is prepped. This has cooked for five minutes. 
so I'm just going to add the chicken pieces into the masala I try and keep all chicken curries quite different so even though this has got onion and tomatoes but um, the taste of the end result of it is going to be very different and if you have tried my chicken curries before you will know what I mean um, because you don't want to end up doing all this effort and tasting the same as the other curry so in goes the chicken and I'm also going to add and next I'm going to turn the heat off first just turn the heat off mix it up so the hob is off and now I'm going to add three to four tablespoon of um, yogurt natural yogurt so four tablespoon of yogurt first give it a good mix before you turn the heat on and the reason for doing this is it stops it from splitting once we've mixed it up well lovely look at that beauty i'm going to turn the heat back on turn the heat back on i'm going to put a lid on this and cook on between low and medium heat for a good 40 minutes so low and slow is the key here um, until then i am going to get myself a cup of tea okay and i'm just chopping up all the fenugreek leaves uh, roughly and after that i'm going to give it a good uh, wash it's been 40 minutes oh the look of that just look at it right i've washed the fenugreek because it's quite important it's quite muddy usually and i'm going to add the chopped up washed up fenugreek leaves or methi into this uh, give it a good mix and then i need to cook this for last five minutes our chicken is done properly fully done and i just need to cook the methi so going to once again cover and leave it for five minutes now i know what's going to happen a few of you are going to message me saying uh asking if you don't have fenugreek so if you can't find fenugreek or methi a lot of people said that they're going to try grow it themselves from seed anyways if you can't find methi use uh, spinach instead fresh spinach leaves obviously it will taste different because spinach has a different flavor fenugreek has a different flavor but you can still try this recipe if you can't fenugreek but if you can then please do use it <laughs> a little bit of double cream to finish this off obviously if you don't want to add it that's fine but it does make it absolutely gorgeous I've always got this big smile when it's anything to do with the chicken curry. This smells insanely good. Um, right, I'm going to taste it. Joyous, joyous chicken methi curry. Or methi chicken curry. I don't know. Okay. perfect perfect loveliness creamy mm. oh so hot mm. that's so good that is beautiful you can taste the methi 
your curries it's not too creamy but it's lovely and rich and it's delicious i hope you will give this a go don't forget to subscribe i'll see you very soon for another new recipe uh, have it with please try it with some piping hot naans and you can find the recipe of those naans on the channel or just pile this on top of some rice but do try it however you eat it do try do try mm so good mm.